the survey questions people ask can tell us a lot about who we are and what's happening in the world. We looked at 11 years worth of data from the SurveyMonkey platform to see what we could learn. And we uncovered two cultural trends that we need to talk about. We've seen how AI has gone mainstream for a lot of jobs and industries, and it's hard to miss the daily headlines and social media buzz. In previous years, terms like AI, artificial intelligence, ChatGPT, and generative AI were mentioned in surveys about 0.2% of the time. But mentions doubled in 2022, hovering around 0.5 or 0.6%. And in 2023 alone, mentions of AI in surveys saw a nearly 4x increase. So what's the story behind this growth? Let's hear it from an expert. Is that my cue? This is Sam, resident senior research scientist. So what's really interesting about the increase in number of surveys that mention AI is that it coincides almost perfectly with the release of ChatGPT in 2022, which was a really big deal for AI because the public was now able to use AI and similar tools. And as people started using such tools, they became more curious. And we see this reflected in a number of surveys that mention AI. This goes to show how people want to be well-informed about this new and evolving technology, and how organizations are striving to understand AI's impact on their customers, their industry, and how work gets done. Gender questions are one of the most frequently used demographic questions on our platform. And after analyzing surveys from the past decade, we found that the number of gender-inclusive surveys has grown dramatically. How exactly do we track gender inclusion? By looking at the number of gender answer options survey creators use. Male and female have traditionally been the standard options in surveys, but survey scientists say... So when you ask a gender survey question, you should offer more than two answer options. When we dug into the data, we found that in 2012, between 9% and 22% of surveys sent on our platform included three or more gender answer options. Today, that number is well above 50% for most of the countries we reviewed. Canada, the UK, and Australia are the standouts for gender-inclusive surveys. Brazil, the Netherlands, and France saw the largest growth in gender-inclusive surveys in 2023. And while adoption of non-binary gender options has stalled in some countries recently, globally, the growth in gender-inclusive surveys mirrors the trend towards more inclusion in society and may signal that individuals and institutions alike are trying to collect more accurate data and keep up with the times. Now, these are just two of the headliner findings from our state of surveys research, but we uncovered dozens more. Want to know when to send your surveys for the best results or get the inside scoop on mobile surveys? Don't worry, our researchers looked into all of that and more. To learn more, head to the link in the description and make sure you subscribe to the SurveyMonkey channel to hear all about the latest findings from SurveyMonkey Research.